Hey guys, it's me Heather and I'm back with another video. And today's video is the long awaited Kylie Wizard of Oz. I got several requests on Instagram for this palette. So I'm skipping ahead for the ColourPop and I'm doing the Kylie because when I showed it over on Instagram, everybody was like, all right, let's see it. Let's see if it's really that good. And I said, bet, I got you. So <laughs> we're going to use the Kylie Wizard of Oz palette in case you missed my swatches unboxing video um this is the palette we're gonna go with and i feel like i don't know what colors i want to do but mm, you know i really want to do this red and pink down here but that's just kind of a, like a obvious choice but it is very pretty um all the looks i've seen they literally just took this brown and like this color and did like a liner and then just like a dusting of color on the lid and that was it cali Cali PR people, put me on your list, baby. I got you. I got you. We're going to show, we're going to do this palette. So go ahead. Get your girl. All right. We're not going to do any eye primer. Uh, I probably should. My allergies are killing me. My face is all puffy. Look at this eye. It's two times the size of this eye. Using our beloved. Totally. We're working on her. She's almost there. And we're not making apologies for her. We're just going to let her live her best life. We just got back from a very, what felt like, treacherous walk. <laughs> but we're back. Everybody made it back alive. Only a few lizards may have been harmed in the making. All right. Let's do this first. I know. Creature of habit. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And I feel like this is probably going to expire. I have been, this is the same one I have been running out of forever and a day. And we'll put it right here, but not up the nostrils. And it still keeps coming out. And I'm like, I had the little one because I thought that one was running out. And <clears throat> I mean, I'm glad, but I don't want it to like expire on me and start smelling weird. So I use it all the time. I guess that's good. <laughs> but yeah, we just went on a journey around the neighborhood. It's still like, I think it said it was 86, felt like 92 today. So. It's not like miserably hot, but it's hot. And uh, tell you, these dogs, <clears throat> they're making me uh, work for my sanity. All right, we're gonna go in with this color here and we're just gonna do that like in the crease. Also a lot of kick up, like I said about the uh, Mario palette, lots of kick up. But still pigmented as I said about the Mario. I don't care if it has kick up as long as it shows up. If I have to, like dust away all my pigmentation. That's not good, but. And I'm just basically putting that all over the lid <laughs> and up into the crease. This is the shade Broomstick. If you're uh, playing along here, we're doing tutorials together. So we are well into Vlogmas. I don't know what day this will go up because the get ready with me take a little bit longer to edit than, you know, obviously just the chit chat stuff, so. But we're rolling along in Vlogmas. We're doing good for all the people who said, ain't no way. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, I've got finals. Uh, first week of December, I've got three finals. <sighs> and, oh, it's pretty. We're taking um, Toto is the next. And I just got a severe weather alert. Good. We're going to lose all daylight. <laughs> Just taking that in the outer there. But yes, I have I have finals coming up and then um, I start classes January 9th. I signed up for early spring classes. Why? Because, you know, after vlogmas, I felt like I need to stay busy, right? I need to get right back into it and being punished. So we're trying to wrap this up, guys. We're trying to get the bachelor's so we can get our master's and you know my husband's gonna have a phd and i'm gonna i he can't we can't let him be smarter than me <laughs> we can't we can't let him uh you know be too far ahead of me i can't be sitting around without a bachelor's and him got a phd so <laughs> all right and coffee break <laughs> even though it's like three o'clock two thirty <sighs> refreshing and then you say heather don't you say you can't sleep yeah, I mean, we wonder why, right? 
All right, let's take this fluffy brush here. And we're just going to marry those colors here on the lid. This is very pretty. I really like this. Just wanting that to blend up. Mm -hmm. And obviously stop here because we are going to go in with Dorothy. You know I was eyeballing Dorothy with my finger. And we're going to put it. Oh, yes. Very pretty. This probably would have been pretty if I did like a base as well. Like it would have really popped if you're wanting that like blue den on my nose like real popular. Oh, yeah. Love that. Just trying to keep it from getting underneath my eye so we can clean that up easy peasy. All right, and then we're gonna go in with Tin Man because it's got like that bluey silver right in the middle. Oh, I think I accidentally did like the cold girl makeup. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Yes, I do. We can just take that all over. We can mix Dorothy and Tin Man. Oh yeah. And then we can take a little bit more Dorothy. Oh yes. <laughs> you know, if it's 80, if it looks like it's from the 80s, a little bit of a hookery stop, right on my alley. I love it. All right, we'll come back, finish the eye. As always, we're using our handy dandy wipes to clean up light like we did last time. And I, I closed it, but there's still some on the tip, so we're just using that. We don't have even, even have to open it. Um, that's the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. If you missed my last Get Ready With Me, <laughs> how dare you, but I just put that on. Even with oily skin, I love these. They do not make me greasy. They set... They don't go into the pores. They just look nice and cute around here. So we're going to do the wet mild tinted hydrator. Just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. See the L'Oreal Paradise in the lightest shade was quite light. This is the lightest shade and it's kind of dark. We don't know what we're getting with the drugstore. But I don't need a lot of coverage. I'm not going anywhere. But this evens me out. It covers up any redness. Um, makes me presentable to the world. So <laughs> I really do like it, though. It doesn't. It's not greasy. And I really like it. So we're just kind of buff, buff, buff. I could probably look at myself in a mirror up close. <laughs> There's always surprises when I edit back and I'm like, Heather, what did you do? Or what did you not do? <laughs> we'll take the rest of that. And it's great too, because you can build a, like you saw how red my nose was for my allergies. And up into the hairline, the ears. All right, and then we're gonna take one of my favorite concealers. You see it every once in a while. It is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. They were so kind and sent me a couple of shades when it released. I don't know if you can tell. This one's probably about to hit its <laughs> um, time, but then they sent me, when they released new colors, they sent me some more. So I have been using that. Look how brightening this is. So. This might not be great in this shade for me to cover like blemishes because I think it's yeah tan and in so it's like perfect for under the eyes though. And it's, it's kind of sheer but still brightens your under eye. So see how bright I look and you can just take any extra. And... We have the Hourglass um, Luminous Bronze Bronzer. So let's do that a luminous bronzer so we're gonna be glowy I don't know you didn't probably didn't see that I had to pinch this just so I don't have to keep going back in there for it this has a little bit of an orange tinge to it so it's not like my favorite but this palette is probably like that's just fingerprints on that. 
<laughs> where it sits on my thing. Um, but it's probably two or three years old and I need to use it because it's beautiful. I just don't love, particularly love this on me, but I need to use it. Um, we are going to use is uh diffuse light ambient lighting powder here under the eyes because it's supposed to diffuse the light and make me look alive <laughs> all right so there's that and then we're going to use to be dior rosy glow and coral look how cute it is blue eyes, coral cheeks. We do not care. <laughs> we do not care. And the um, House Labs pink quartz, rose quartz as a highlighter. So <laughs> I mean, she's a pretty, like I'm putting it, it's like a blush topper. Oh, with that coral. Look at me, though. Mm. <laughs> Love it. And as I always say, if you feel a little scared, just take what you put your foundation on with. But I ain't scared. I love it. You know, I'm not, I've never shied away from my blush, so. And then, let's see where we at. What are we looking at? Anybody hate brows? I just hate like chocolate brown they're like oh you need to use darker because your roots are darker because that's your natural color and i'm like but my hair is naturally blonde like i'm obviously a natural blonde like <laughs> i don't think uh brunettes are born with clear brows i could be wrong but um yeah so nobody can agree on what my actual brow color should be and what looks best so i try to go lighter and then the next video you'll see I'm darker. I try gel, I try pomade, just the mascara. This is ColourPop, uh, taupe. And thick is in, so I'm leaving them thick, but. Who knows what the next trend will be. I hope everybody's having a good December so far and not too stressed out for the holidays. We are going to take it. I think I said in my last video that we uh, went to the beach one year and that we just like to take it easy. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Just take it easy. I'll probably make breakfast. He might make breakfast. He always gets up earlier than me, but just in general. And then we may take the dogs for a walk and then we may go to the beach. There's honestly nothing that I want and there's um really nothing I care about more than just spending time with him while he's off. So <laughs> if he, you know, he actually gets some time away, so. All right, and I think that's part of the problem though is like, you know, you treat, well, I <laughs> treat myself too much throughout the year and then I'm like, I don't really need anything or want anything because you're looking at it we already have it <laughs> and go back into the cali palette we're going to take some of that brown underneath i'm just going to go back into toto that dark brown you see the difference <laughs> it just kind of brings it all together Woohoo! i love this all right now let's see what this Blend of the Good Witch looks like on the inner corner here. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling very uh, Glenda the Good Witch. <laughs> very pretty. Let's take a fluffy brush and blend that up into the eye look. Oh, yes. All right. I forgot that I was going to do all Cali products. That's my bad. That's, that's on me. Um, gloss. Very pretty. It's like the perfect nudie pink. Which is exactly what you need for this eye look. And this is called... Coco K. I think that's named after Chloe, maybe? Alright, and my favorite lip liner, um, Trophy Wife, of course. 
from Huda, and then we got the Coco K gloss from Kylie. I love this Morphe. I don't know if they still sell it. Make it, make it big mascara. That was great. <laughs> And what else do we need to do? We're gonna take this Gourmand Girls um, highlighter. We're gonna go in with Moonstone. We're taking this brush and we are just gonna go under the brow. It's nice, pretty sheen to it without taking away from the Kylie. That was the only thing it didn't have like a highlighter shade in there. So, and then <laughs> while we're at it, we can never have enough. Let's take a little bit of this, mix this pink and this white together. Pink diamond and moonstone. <laughs> oh yes, I'm interrupting flight signals right now. Flight paths are being... <laughs> All right, we love that. I need my makeup because I'm not going anywhere, but we are going to refresh with some Avene thermal water. Mm-hmm, All right. And the hair from a walk <laughs> looking quite uh, big, but hey, that works, right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, as always, there will be photos inserted. Um, as always, there will be photos inserted. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this and you saw I had no struggles getting this fun little Dorothy look. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Happy Vlogmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.